Please join in praying the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, where he is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from whence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. For an increase of faith, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. For an increase of hope, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. For an increase of charity, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The five joyful mysteries, the first joyful mystery, the Annunciation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. 
Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in the most need of thy mercy. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in the most need of thy mercy. The third joyful mystery, the nativity. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in the most need of thy mercy. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, Jesus, forgive us our sins, sins. Save, save us from the fires of hell, Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in the most need of thy mercy. The fifth joyful mystery, the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in the most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn their most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee, that while meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The Memorare. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, our mother. To thee we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer us. Amen. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and deceased Holy Father, Pope Benedict, we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be, world without end. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of heavenly hosts, by the power of God, 
cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, immaculate heart of Mary, Our Lady of the Rosary, Our Lady of Fatima, Our Lady Queen of Peace, St. Joseph, St. Padre Pio, Saints Jacinta and Francisco, Venerable Sister Lucia, St. Pope John Paul II, all God's angels and saints, may the divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. We'll now pray the Fatima prayers. We pray the pardon prayer three times. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope and do not love thee. Angel's Prayer. O most holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore thee profoundly. I offer thee the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ, present in all the tabernacles of the world, in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifference by which he is offended. By the infinite merits of the sacred heart of Jesus, and the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I beg the conversion of poor sinners. Eucharistic prayer. Most Holy Trinity, I adore thee. My God, my God, I love thee in the most blessed sacrament. Sacrifice prayer. O oh my Jesus, it is for the love of thee, for the conversion of sinners, and in reparation for the offenses committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Decade prayer. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in the most need of thy mercy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Copies of the Regina Celli are in the pews and in the missalettes. Please rise for the Regina Celli. Queen of heaven, rejoice, alleluia, for he has risen as he said, alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, alleluia. Let us pray, O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant we beseech thee that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins as we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that through the Paschal Mysteries the gates of mercy should stand open for your faithful, look upon us and have mercy, that as we follow by your gift the way you desire for us, so may we never stray from the paths of life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever.
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the twelve called together the community of disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve at table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men, filled with the spirit and wisdom, whom we shall appoint to this task, whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The proposal was acceptable to the whole community. So they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith in the Holy Spirit, also Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Harmenius, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread, and the number of the disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. Would the ten-string lyre chant his praises? Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Christ is risen who made all things. He has shown mercy on all people. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. When it was evening, the disciples of Jesus went down to the sea, embarked in a boat, and went across the sea to Capernaum. It had already grown dark, and Jesus had not yet come to them. The sea was stirred up because a strong wind was blowing. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and coming near the boat, and they began to be afraid. But he said to them, It is I. Do not be afraid. They wanted to take him into the boat, but the boat immediately arrived at the shore to which they were heading. The Gospel of the Lord. Good afternoon and welcome. It's going to be 67 and sunny tomorrow, so enjoy this beautiful weather today. It's, you know, tomorrow the weather's not as nice, okay? Um, My friends, there's really something quite profound that comes together today in the first reading in the gospel. So in the first reading from Acts of the Apostles, we hear about the creation of the order of deacons. So we know that Jesus had established the 12 apostles, conferred upon them what we call the ministerial priesthood. And then as the church grew, it, from the very earliest days, that it became like a three-level thing, the bishop, priest, and deacon. And this passage is the passage that shows us the creation of the deacons, And they do something interesting. They pray and lay hands on. Now, uh, this is what we do to this day. When you become a deacon, when you become a priest or a bishop, they pray and lay hands on that gesture. But it's interesting that nowhere do we see Jesus telling them to do that. So if you read through the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, you'll never find a place where Jesus says to them, okay, 
So when you hand this over to new generations, this is how you do it. You pray and lay hands upon them because the four gospels don't give us everything that Jesus taught or said, you know, so this, but it's evidence that this is what they were told to do. And so it's a little, little hint that there is a thing called tradition things that were taught, things that were done, that were, didn't technically weren't written down in the Bible, but it's coming from Jesus himself. Isn't that interesting? So this gesture of praying and laying hands on people to hand over some sort of an office of leadership or ministry goes all the way back to Moses. Moses did the same thing in the Old Testament. So the, what Jesus does with the church, it really does pick, pick up from what we read about in Judaism and so even to this day, this happened to me when I was ordained to deacon. And then nine months later, I was ordained to the priesthood. You kneel down, the bishop says a prayer, he lays on the hands and the sacrament of holy orders, the gift of sacred ministry is handed on to the next generation. I, I remember when I was a baby priest, you know, that was a while ago. Um, so why am I sharing this? Because it's a really important detail that says to us something about how God works, how God works, you know? So we know that um, on the natural realm, there is a way that natural life is handed on to the new generation. This is part of the creator's plan, right? It involves a husband and a wife in marriage and a family. And, and so that's why the church is really concerned to defend the truth about marriage, the truth about family, the truth about the gift of sexuality, the truth about our humanity. <laughs> so we defend all of that. As a matter of fact, the Vatican just recently issued a new document on the dignity of the human person. It's really pretty good. Um, so we're going to catch some flack for that, huh? <laughs> but this is part of God's plan. Like we don't make this up. We receive it from our creator. And this is on a natural level on how part of God's plan, how life is supposed to be handed over. Now we know none of us have grown up in perfect situations. Okay, don't look around at your family members, okay? <laughs> look straight ahead, okay? And so that's okay too, right? We're all sinners, we're all broken, we're all wounded. None of us had, if God only gave babies to perfect people, there'd be no more children, right? You know, like, so, but, but we come back to what, what God's plan is on the natural level. And even um, Sister Lucia, the visionary from Fatima, in the very last letter that we have, she wrote to a cardinal at the Vatican saying, and these are her words, the final battle between God and the devil will be over marriage and family. So th that feels like a prophecy to me, <laughs> you know, and so we're seeing it in our culture, right? People are, are really trying to change the thinking on marriage and family and sexuality, all of that. So in a very kind and loving yet firm way, we have to hold fast to what God has revealed in the midst of this chaos. Now, it gets even better though, because if this is true on the natural level, it's also true on the supernatural level, that God had a plan by which new life in Christ would be handed over so if the natural level, the plan was the family, on the supernatural level, the plan was the church. The church is the family of God. And it starts with baptism. They're the seven sacraments that not just life, but new life is being handed on to the next generation, the sacraments. So we see that in the first reading. These deacons are being prayed over and their hands are being, they're receiving the sacrament of holy orders. And so when they got older, they did the same thing to the next generation, and it perpetuates to our own day. You know, you could even see the cardinal's fingerprints on my scalp <laughs> when I received the sacrament of holy orders. Okay, but even the sacrament of holy orders is ordered to what? Well, the priest can do all the sacraments, right? We can baptize. If the bishop's unavailable, we can confirm. We can... Um, do weddings, but especially confession in the Eucharist. The Eucharist in particular, if you don't have an ordained bishop priest or priest, you have no Eucharist. And it has happened in some countries, the, 
the government took out all the clergy and all the lay faithful would secretly go and pray in the churches. And, and that's beautiful, but there was no Eucharist because there was no priest. So this is part of God's plan, how Jesus wants to perpetuate and keep, keep handing out the new supernatural life of grace. And uh, on that note, we see something so beautiful in the gospel. This little passage from John, where Jesus is walking on the water. You have to understand this passage in its context. This is from the famous chapter, John chapter 6. It's probably the, the one passage of the Bible all the Catholics know. Everybody, you know, John chapter 6, right? Because that's where Jesus gives the teaching on the bread of life. I am the bread of life. My flesh is true food. My blood is true drink. He gives the clearest teaching on the Eucharist in John 6. But if you get out your Bible and read the entire chapter, what you'll see is John has crafted the story in such a profound way to really communicate to us the importance of the Eucharist. So at the very beginning of John 6, it's the miracle of the multiplication of the loaves. And then after that, Jesus walks on the water. What does that tell us? There's something different about his body. His body isn't bound by the laws of nature like our bodies are. That will become ultimately true at the resurrected body of Jesus, but we get a taste of it now. And then after the walking on water, the teaching on the Eucharist. See, all of it points to the Eucharist. And the Eucharist is the gift par excellence that he's given to the church to keep that life of supernatural grace going. That's why we call even baptism and confirmation are really ordered towards the Eucharist. Like you get baptized and confirmed so that you can receive the Eucharist. That's why it's such a contradiction in many countries where a young person gets confirmation and then they stop going to church. <laughs> That's the exact opposite of what the sacrament of confirmation actually means. It actually means you should be going to church more. So we have this confirmation retreat <laughs> here today. Um, but that's the, the beauty of God's plan. huh? The church is the family of God. The sacraments are the beings by which that grace is handed on to each generation. And especially the Eucharist, especially the presence of Jesus, the bread of life. Jesus who is truly present. And he comes to us through the Mass. We receive him. We're nourished by him. We're strengthened by him. Just as food and drink strengthens your body, the Eucharist strengthens your soul. And so it's so important that we're really aware and, you know, focused on allowing the Eucharist to be the form of our lives. Right? This is what the bishops are coming back to now, this national Eucharistic revival. It's not just that he's truly present there. That's just the beginning. But no, we need to be formed and fed on Jesus in the Eucharist. You know, his true presence, his grace comes to us in such a profound way. And, and so doing that, that gift of supernatural life is being handed on from each generation. Amen. Let us stand. Trusting in God's merciful and abundant love, we bring our prayers and petitions to him. That God may bless all deacons of the church with a spirit of charitable service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that the spirit may inspire government authorities to act in favor of the poor, the widowed, and all in need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that everyone oppressed by hunger or loneliness may experience the bounty and consolation of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord that this community of faith may receive all the gifts we need to bring Jesus into the darkness of our world. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord for blessings upon Roberto Palau, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord and for all who have died, having trusted in the Lord, may soon greet him on the heavenly shores. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our God, our Father, hear and answer these petitions that we present through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify graciously these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Your Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful, for his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. Confess your resurrection. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, <coughs> Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the Lord. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. I have a few announcements before we go our way. Um, in May, leading up to the feast day of Our Lady of Fatima, we do have a novena, the novena to Our Lady of Fatima for mothers. We are accepting intentions for this novena now. So we have this little flyer on the table inside the front door or on our website, bluearmyshrine.com. You could submit the names of your loved ones, living or deceased. They'll be placed in this altar and remembered at a novena of masses leading up to the great feast day. And then also we're just encouraging, uh, we're about to start our new season here and so many beautiful things are being offered. So whether you follow the Shrine on Facebook or Instagram or keep an eye on the calendar page of our Shrine website to see all the beautiful uh, things that are happening, just invite you to come back, bring some friends and family and um, we're gonna have a great season. Um, so again, we thank you. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. St. Michael, the Archangel, lead us in battle. We Him is number three hundred and eighty nine. <clears throat> brothers and sisters, uh, please do not have conversations in the chapel. We want to maintain respect and reverence for Jesus and the Blessed Sacrament. If you need to have conversations, you can do so outside. Thank you. Okay.